Example three, what is the danger of the type one error? So this is a more um, conceptual question. The danger is uh, mistakenly concluding that there is no significant difference between the obtained mean and the hypothetical population mean. Well, when you make a type one error, you have rejected the null, right? Um, but null hypothesis is true, right? So mistakenly concluding that there's no significant difference, well, that's not true because you concluded that there's a significant difference. That's why you rejected the null, right? Um, mistakenly concluding that there is a significant difference between the obtained mean and the hypothetical population mean. Yes, that is true. That is true. Um, mistakenly concluding this, right? You mistakenly rejected the null. You said, oh, there's a significant difference, but you shouldn't have done that. Mistakenly being alarmed about a hypothesis when we should be calm. That's just nonsense. Mistakenly calculating the wrong test score. Remember, these errors are not errors that you can actually avoid. Uh, these are not errors because we were sloppy. These are errors that are made um, because we don't know the real nature of the world. So this is actually not what we're talking about when we're talking about type one or two errors. Mistakenly choosing the wrong population standard er uh, deviation to calculate standard error. That's not it either. These two are just regular old mistakes or errors in calculation. They're not type one and two errors of hypothesis testing. All right, so that's it for uh, type one and two error. Thanks for using educator.com.